Hey everyone, this isn't going to shock you to learn, but your camera sensor has dirt. As you can see by this photo, so does mine. So in this video, I'm going to show you three ways to remove sensor dirt spots from your images so that you can have spot free photos. This is Photoshop CS6 that I'm using, but it will, this technique will work in any version of Photoshop, at least back to CS2. And First thing we're going to do is we're going to grab the uh, automatic clone. Come on, the automatic healing brush or spot healing brush. I think it's actually called. Come up here to the pixels, hit Control or Command, and rotate the mouse a little bit to give us a slightly larger circle. We're just going to eyeball some of these ones on this photo that are pretty obvious. This was taken with either the Irix 11 millimeter or. The, I think that this looks like the Irix 11 millimeter because, yeah, that's a water dot on the lens, not a, a dirt sensor, uh, sensor dirt dot. And the at F22, which is what this would have been at, the Irix definitely picks up water on the lens if you're, say, in a rainstorm. So that's pretty much what I can see on my screen with my bare uh, eyes at 100% viewing. So Oh, one more. Just saw one more. There we go. Okay. First, so that's the first technique. Take care of the ones you can see. Next thing that we're going to do is zoom in here five times. Oops, too many. Until we get to 100%. We're going to come up here to a corner because it's nice and easy. Do we see anything? Yes, no, maybe. You can also start at 100%, by the way, instead of doing a, a zoomed out scan first. But the important thing that you want to do is zoom into 100% and move across your screen like this. This is because you might not be able to see a, a dot just by looking at your screen because they do blend in a little bit. But when they move, it's easier to see one of these dots move across your screen. So we're going to go through the whole sky area here. I'd tell you a joke if I knew any, but uh, those of you who have subscribed to this channel for a while will know I don't. And um, so at any rate, the whole point of this is to say that you want to just move around and catch as many as you can. Once I feel like I've caught all of them, which I'm now feeling like I have, some it, it can help to go up and down as well if you really want to be thorough. But I'm gonna. I'm feeling like I've caught 100% of the sensor dirt spots. So I'm gonna hit Control J, Command J on the Mac, and I'm gonna change the blending mode to Overlay. That didn't do much. Well, let's see what happens if we do this a few more times. Oh, that's not really gonna work for this photo. Sometimes just doing Overlay works. And what'll happen is when you overlay it changes the contrast. So things that are low contrast, like sensor dust, will pop. If doing an overlay, like in this image, doesn't work, we're going to hit Control-I, Command-I to invert. Look at that sky now. See from nothing, basically? Now we have a whole bunch of clouds. Let's just hit, oh, there we one too many. We're going to duplicate the layers a bunch until we now have a lot of contrast in the sky. Select your background layer, or this won't do any good. And now we'll go back to the spot healing brush. And already we can see that there's a bunch that just didn't turn up earlier. And you can generally keep track of this because with your overlay blending, what will happen is you'll get a little bit of a scar right here that kind of gives away where the dust spot was. That's a staggering number of dust spots that I missed. Let's go ahead and turn this guy off. I do like to have a little bit of a darker cloud uh, setting when I'm doing this in this in this exact scene. But there's one, there's one, there's another one. You can uh, also adjust the size of your brush if you need to. But the point here is to say that when we scrolled through and at 100%, I was pretty confident that I had gotten all of the dust spots. And this overlay trick here really shows a whole lot more than uh, were apparent. You could probably keep going on like this over and over, but we are not. Just delete those. And now you can see 
that the sky up there is really dust spot free. So that's a really good approach to finding and eliminating eliminating those. It's always better to try to keep your sensor clean because if you're seeing this video is running right about five minutes long, if you have a hundred photo, a hundred photos to take those spots out of and you really want to do a thorough job and it's going to take you five minutes per photo, well that adds up to 500 minutes which I really hope is a whole lot longer than how long it takes you to clean your sensor. So keep your sensor clean and then you can use these three techniques to remove dust spots when you need to.